Hello, viewers. Uh, great you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Tunde Dada, a pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family in Luton. Today we are reflecting on the topic, leadership and anointing. And our text for today is taken from 2 Samuel chapter 5, we read the first three verses. Then came all the tribes of Israel to David unto Hebron, and spake, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. Also in time past, when Saul was king over us, that was he that led us out and brought us in Israel. And the Lord said to thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be a captain over Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king to Hebron, and King David made a league with them in Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. A memory verse, Psalm 23, verse 5b says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runs over. A reflection. To be a leader, the place of the anointing is very, very important. David is a vivid example of this. In Psalms 23 from verse 5 to 6, David gave the testimony about how God turned his life around. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You will notice that to be an effective king, David was not just anointed once. He was anointed, in fact, three times. Getting the anointing requires serious favor from the Lord. For instance, David was not the only son of Jesse. But the favor of the Lord found him out and set him apart for anointing to be king firstly over Judah and later over the entire territory of Israel. You need the anointing to break the yoke and to do extraordinary things for the Lord. Once God has anointed you, all the efficiency of heaven will be deployed to ensure that you fulfill heaven's destiny for your life. You will no longer be a pushover. In fact, you will start to prevail over your contemporaries. You will also start to enjoy the oil of gladness above your fellow. Anointing consolidates your position and your blessing in Christ. The anointing will not allow your destiny, your blessings in the Lord to be reversed. Even when the enemy tries to harm you, you know what the Bible makes you to do? It makes it clear that there is a strict injunction forbidding anyone to harm you. In Psalm 105, verse 14 to 15, the Bible says, He allowed no one to oppress them. For their sake, He rebuked kings. Do not touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. With the anointing, God is on your side and He will continue to elevate you. There is a great door that is about to open for you. The anointing upon your head will speak in the name of our Lord Jesus. Our prayer to the, today, why don't you just pray together with me? Father, I present my head for your fresh anointing for greatness. Anoint me till my cup runs over. This I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for being part of today's telecast. I hope you have been blessed. I look forward to seeing you uh, in the nearest future. God bless you. And have a fantastic day. Bye for now.